Mycologist David Aurora states, out of several thousand kinds of wild mushrooms in North America, only five or six are deadly poisonous. Yet, when the average American finds any mushroom growing wild out in the open, Hi, how you doing? They tend to overreact. Photograph the mushroom as is, and the surrounding area from which it's growing. Take a shot of the underside of the cap. Snap a clear picture of the stalk as well, also known as the stipe. Use a sharp knife to cut the mushroom directly in half and photograph the result. Be sure to show scale in at least one of your pictures. I usually just use my hand, but you can use any sort of common household item, maybe a quarter or a paper clip. Grab the mushroom cap, one clean sheet of paper, then lay it flat and add some contrasting color, just in case the spores happen to be white. Place the cap halfway between the light and dark colors. Between 2 and 24 hours later, you'll have your print. While taking a spore print isn't crucial, it definitely helps in getting the identification that you're looking for. Asking random U.S. citizens on the street about mushrooms won't aid in your quest. Hop onto Facebook, go to the group section, and then up in the search bar, start typing in mushrooms. Search for your local region. If you're in California or Oregon or Washington, you want mushrooms of the Pacific Northwest. The more members, the more knowledge. I would recommend these first two groups as they have almost 100,000 members combined. Perhaps you're in the Midwest. In that case, try Mushrooms of the Midwest. At the top, we have a page, and that's not a group. You can't post to pages, but down below, there's one called Mushroom Hunters of the Midwest, and that is what you want to click and join. After you join one or more groups, make your post. Include all your photos of the specimen and write a description. Don't be vague, like, I found these funky fungi in the forest. You're going to want to be as descriptive as possible, like this example. These little guys were located under some evergreens by some melting snow at about 6,000 feet elevation with an air temp of around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Notice I mentioned the trees they were under, the surrounding environment, the elevation, and the air temperature. Posting to multiple groups will increase your odds of getting an accurate identification. In fact, you'll probably receive multiple replies. Take the most popular answer, and that's probably your mushroom's name.